John Adams, Harry Truman, Al Gore, all distinguished vice presidents, all inspirations, but soon there may be another, even more illustrious name added to the list, Sarah Palin. She already inspires me too, sometimes three times a day. How did Sarah Palin get to be so vice presidential? What is the issue that defines her more than any other? Her refusal to mix business with family? Her willingness to go toe to toe with fellow Alaskans? Or her traditional family values? Just who is Sarah Palin? Move over, Obama. America's got a new inspiration. I think it was an awesome choice. A, a very admirable woman. You know, she's got five children. And yet she's um, a great politician and has done a wonderful job in Alaska. She is an inspiration. Mm -hmm. What is one moment in her history that you can point to that really stands out for you? Hmm. If you, can, if you can name two or three, you don't have to narrow it down to one. Okay, um, I would say a couple things. And one of the things is, is that, that she's become a, the governor of Alaska. Uh, when Sarah was mayor of uh, Wasilla, the, the population grew from 4,000 to 7,000, which is quite significant. What, what in her leadership style do you think uh, helped spur that growth? And again, I'm not sure what city you know she was in. I haven't followed her. I sure, these women really know and love Sarah. But no one is more enamored with her than John McCain. Uh, how many times would you say McCain uh, interviewed her before he offered her the VP job? Four times. I guess I've heard six. Yeah. I'm sure he, you know, interviewed her several times. Once. That's right, once. Because for John, Sarah is the genuine article. Palin's a principal leader who'll never turn her back on her small town roots. So when McCain dies in office, I give him 10 months tops. Under a Palin presidency, this country will truly be run like a small town. We'll have Main Street, our own snowplow, a general store with everything we'll need. Well, we've had that for a while. Our town will be segregated. Whites here and blacks here. Everyone will have their own oil well and their own AK-47. Well, not everyone. Oh, and there'll be no abortions. And best of all, no restrictions on carbon emissions because President Palin doesn't believe in global warming. But with Sarah as our president, who will be our inspirational vice president? Time for some McCain-style speed vetting. How should the U.S. help maintain the balance of power in Asia? We would need to be very careful with our response. China's a very important diplomatic and economic. Hello. Hi. Do you like kitties? I love them. India threatens a nuclear strike against Pakistan over Kashmir. Who do you talk to first? Indians? Dot or feather? Because I've been to the Grand Canyon this one time. Okay, 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 never mind. Do you like rainbows? I love rainbows. They're so pretty. Congratulations. You're the next vice president of the United States of America. No way! Oh my god! I need to call my mom! I need to call my mom! Is there a phone around? Oh my god! Palin supporters sleep well at night knowing she could be our commander-in-chief. No, I don't think it does concern me. I think she's got quite a bit, you know, being in Alaska, there's several of the, the bases and military. In fact, many Republicans say Sarah has foreign policy experience because Alaska is right next to Russia. That really inspires me because very often I'm right next to things, like this traffic cop. Okay, you're coming. You're good. I feel so inspired. Come on, you're good. You wait. Okay, you slow down. You're not, no, you're not supposed to go. You're not supposed to oh. oh, Well, I have no formal dental training, but I do have teeth. Oh! Could you imagine how much this would hurt if I weren't an expert? Now sit still. Oh! Man. I really feel like I'm making a difference. See you in six months. I feel so invigorated by Sarah Palin. She's brought me to new heights of self-awareness and self-confidence. She so inspired me that I'm about to do something I never thought I could. Wow, what a relief. This thing was really getting in my way. I did it. I have a vagina. 
I feel like not having an abortion with it. Well, thanks to Sarah, I'm a new person. I'm a hot, pro-life, gun-touting, anti-environment, family values conservative, with no experience and no ideas. Not only am I qualified to be vice president, I might be overqualified. Well, I'm the former Paul Mercurio, and if you'll excuse me, 